Welcome to the vlog of new to medical device sales. Uh, I decided just last second to make this vlog because this week has been crazy. I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling, so I figured, hey, I might as well document the next 24 hours. Uh, so for myself, just so you guys know, it is currently a Wednesday at 11 a.m. my time. I've already done surgeries. I had a surgery at 7.30 and just at 10 o'clock. Um, so I've already done two surgeries, and now I have four in a row. Plus, I have to go to New Mexico, um, which is a case, uh, place I cover. So I will be flying out there. I have cases tomorrow. I will fly back tomorrow night, and then I have cases all day Friday. So again, just showing you life can be crazy. Uh, so right now, I am actually just heading home. I live, luckily for my account, pretty close. So I'm heading home between surgeries to grab breakfast at 11 a.m. And also, I just got a new puppy. So we're gonna go let him out and then we'll be running back to the surgery centers to knock out these next couple of surgeries before I have to leave to New Mexico tonight. So, hitting the ground running. So just got home, made myself some breakfast since I'm a foodie, you guys. Eggs and potatoes air fried, so it tastes like french fries, it's amazing. Um, and let me introduce to you my new little dude. Samson, say hi. What's up? Ah. So I became a dog dad last week. Now this is why I'm working, is to provide for him. Uh, no, I uh, just wanna show you guys. So I got a puppy, uh, super cute. But during my time, I have a little time off, an hour. I came home, let him out, go to the bathroom. I made breakfast. I am now getting on my computer because I have to make quotes uh, that I have already put in. I have to send to another contact to hopefully get another sale going through um, at a different location that I talked with today. So shooting that over right now. And then I'm going to be heading to the airport around four. But again, we have all those cases. Luckily, I will be having somebody help cover with me. Um, my teammates luckily here this week. So that helps. Otherwise, they would have to be going by themselves. But this is just to show you guys, like I've talked about, it comes in waves. So sometimes it's not as crazy. Maybe I'll have a decent amount. But literally the last two weeks, I'm waking up at 4.35 a.m. and going nonstop till seven or eight. And it's like that, I'm traveling. I've been to New Mexico twice in the last two weeks. Last time I drove, it's a seven hour trip one way. You know, so it's just, there's a lot. And I come home and it's no rest. It's literally wake up, I got cases at 7 a.m. So this is again, not me complaining. It's just to show you, hey, it's, it's not just hanging out with doctors and chilling all day. Um, you gotta work, you gotta, you gotta drive. So uh, we are going to just show you what the day looks like but again i'm going to eat this real quick send this to my contacts get back to the hospital and we are going to pick up with you most likely either at the hospital or at the airport because like i said running like a chicken with my head cut off so we'll see you soon all right so we made it to the airport we're just waiting for our flight to board um sorry i haven't really filmed today because it's absolutely been nuts i had a bunch of cases going on luckily my teammate was able to Help me out, like I said, that gave me time to come here, park, get to the airport, I'll be flying out, renting a car, had to drive 45 minutes to an hour to get to my hotel um, where my hospital will be, be staying the night. We will have two cases now, I was supposed to have three, one canceled, um, so I'll have two cases tomorrow and then my flights for 4.45, getting back at like six o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, so again, we'll go do that, um, but again, just, First time traveling with the plane, usually I drive out there, it's a six hour drive, deciding because I was just out there last week and with all the travel and with everything coming up, I'm having a lot of cases go on, that it's just easier to uh, do it this way. So again, just wanna show you guys different days, different uh, experiences that I'm facing, uh, especially being in my first year. And, and like I've talked about, I'll, I'll go more in depth tomorrow about this video, but you know, I'm finding out what my new quota is taking over the lowest performing territory in the nation uh, for my division and we are no longer there showing that all the hard work that we're doing is paying off so we're gonna just keep on this fun hustle and i'll catch you guys when i get to the hotel just got to the hotel enjoying a little chipotle while watching the finals game uh watching our sons from phoenix or in phoenix is where i currently live so watching our sons do it. Booker's just taking over, but it is currently 9.30. So just got in, I'm just chilling. And then we'll be waking up early in the morning. Uh, but again, left at 3.30. But uh, just to give you guys kind of an idea, like my day started at 
6.45 I left. I had my first case at 7.30. Uh, so pretty much just been going since then and it's 9.30, we just got in. Good to watch a little bit, eat some food and then get ready for bed and get up and uh, get ready for the day tomorrow. So good morning, here we are bright and early. So it is currently about 8 a.m. New Mexico time, which is 7 a.m. Phoenix time. I've been up since 5 a.m. Phoenix time, uh, but I wanted to ease into the morning. Went, got my hotel coffee, which is delicious, and have been working on some online courses. So the one thing you guys will get, especially if you're with a bigger company, you're not only doing your sales, you have to do these trainings. So we'll go over like today was, you know, making sure you know how to document stuff correctly. So it's kind of like school where you get these trainings that are mandatory, uh, you have to get them done. So again, this is just where I talk about there's so much more than just going out and selling, right? You're gonna be selling, you're gonna be writing, you know, purchase orders, you're gonna be doing so much and then you still have to do all this like corporate, I'll put in quotations, you know, where they, it's mandatory that you do this online training. Um, so that's just something that to expect once you guys get in. Uh, we are here in New Mexico, finally, I uh, got some good, not good sleep last night. I actually got bit by a fire ant two nights ago and my left foot is swollen to the size of like a softball. And I had to go to urgent care the other day uh, for it and they told me to rest, but I don't have time to rest. Uh, so it was itching like crazy last night. So I slept horrible uh, and especially just being in a new bed, but oh well, you don't care. Uh, we are going to get ready for the day. I am just waiting. So I have one of my associates. So as a region where I'm at, we have an associate who flies over to help out with cases. Uh, so I have a case, several cases going on today. Since I'm here in New Mexico, I can't be back home doing my other cases. Uh, so they are helping out with that. So he is going to be giving me a call here any minute. I'm going to help him get through the hospital, how he needs to get to where he uh, needs to go because he's never been there before. So we're going to do that when he calls. And then my surgeries here aren't actually till about 12 o'clock their time 12 and 2 is mine um with a new doctor that i haven't been with so we'll get there probably about 11 um checkout is 11 here at the hotel but one perk of you know doing some traveling is you know i'm in uh, a college town and i've never been to this college that they have and i heard it's beautiful so i'm gonna just take some time uh, this morning, I'm answering emails. I'm I'm doing all my quote unquote work stuff, uh, but it gives you some time to to do some just sightseeing, travel. So here in a little bit, I'm gonna pack up and just go check out the college. Um, I'll probably stop in at the office that these doctors are at. I talk to the scheduler pretty often um, and just go say hi, talk with them, and then we're gonna get ready. We'll do the two cases again. We've talked about this before, but. Even though it says 11 o'clock, most likely, or sorry, 12 o'clock, most likely that surgery is not gonna run till 12.31 um, and it just gets pushed back. Because all that happens is if the first surgery of the day is at 7.30 and it's supposed to, it's scheduled for nine o'clock and that doctor doesn't show up till eight, which happens all the time. And now the surgery is not done till 9.15 and then they have to do turnover. Well, the next surgery that was supposed to start at nine is now not starting till 10 and now the whole day is just pushed back so that's how a lot of times it gets pushed back um just just to be aware but our flight leaves out tonight around 5 45 so i have to leave here it's about an hour drive by about four about four o'clock because i'll get me there at five drop off the rental car um do all that good stuff so yeah so as long as they're running within somewhat of you know where they're supposed to be we'll be good um, but then we're going to just go do a little sightseeing this morning, answer emails, uh, help my ASR get to where they need to go and just have fun with that. And then we'll hit out, hit out the cases and then we will be getting ready to travel back. So just another fun day and fun experience here in the life of a medical device sales rep. All right. This day has been crazy. It is about one o'clock. Um, so went and checked out a little, did sightseeing, but of course then fires started happening, getting phone calls, getting emails, having to put all those out while still driving. Um, went and saw uh, my account that has the doctors that I'm working with today. Went and talked with them, uh, just kind of see what's going on there. And then our surgeries got pushed back. We're supposed to go about 12 o'clock. It's about one o'clock. Like I said, we're just starting the first case. We will do this one and we have one back to back and then we're supposed to have a third one, but most likely I won't be able to stay for the third one because I have to fly out. So 
Again, just trying to be able to balance this, but this is my first time working with this doctor. So just making sure I can support, show I'm a resource, um, make sure they feel that they have everything they need and make sure that the account has everything they need as the plan for today. Um, but again, just like when I'm here, I've been on seven phone calls in the last 20 minutes, just going back and forth. So again, just to show you guys, you know, it's just go, 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 even when I'm here, I'm calling on different accounts, trying to get other things set up. You know, for example, I had an ASR run equipment. We actually got told it was canceled for tomorrow. Find out they actually have three add-on cases. So now we're trying to scramble why I'm here. He's there trying to get enough trays there. So again, just the average day in medical device sales of putting out fires while you're, while you're not even there. So we're gonna go do these cases, make sure they go well. And then eventually we'll go eat some brunch. I haven't ate yet, so probably eat around two o'clock, three o'clock. So that surgery went really long. They didn't have the equipment they needed. So again, just putting out fires, making sure it worked. The doctor was happy. I have about 30 minutes. So coming and doing my usual and getting Chipotle real quick, running back, got two more cases, another one added on. Um, and I've been on the phone nonstop, putting out fires that just things that have come up. So again, you guys, a lot of fun. Um, trying to document as much as I can, but it's literally go, 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 go right now. So hopefully you're gonna have a little, do these cases, hopefully it slows down, but we'll see. All right, so we are done for the day. It is 3.30. Uh, and when I say done, we're done with surgery. So again, been just putting out fires, jumping on a million calls today. Uh, been crazy, had a bunch of surgeries add on, had a bunch of equipment get added on. Um, all good things to have in a territory. Again, it's just what comes with part of running a territory and growing one um, and just trying to figure things out as we go. So I just have to put in a quote. So I have my computer out. I will end up putting in a quote because one of my pieces of equipment here at this hospital um, needs to be replaced, it's damaged. So again, just making sure that they have everything they need. So I'm gonna just do this real quick. Then we will be driving to the airport. Um, my flight already got delayed, which is great, but luckily my flight's only like an hour and a half, hour, 20 minute flight. So hopefully should be home by about 6.30, seven o'clock tonight. Um, so yeah, so it's been a good day. Again, just putting out fires. My email is, is full. Um, I had a longer case, so even when I came out of that case, I had seven messages and eight emails in about an hour or so. Just keeps going, um, and not to mention phone calls. So it's been a great trip. Um, I'll talk to you guys when we get to the airport and just kind of just kind of go in more in depth. All right, you guys, so we are wrapping up the trip. We are here at the airport. My flight got delayed another hour, so I won't be getting home till about 7.30 tonight, which is all good, but give me some time. I actually just got a couple calls from an account trying to get some more capital deals done for myself. Um, and so it was just on the calls with that, trying to figure that all out. Got time to drop everything off, um, get my ASR in their positions that they needed to to be successful for these cases. Um, got everything ironed out for tomorrow. So now all that's left is to get home, go to bed, wake up early and rock and roll tomorrow. Um, the thing I just wanna say is, I hope my experience in these videos are just showing you that, you know, every day is different. There's so many different things to do in medical device sales. It's not just one thing, which I've preached a thousand times. Um, and you just have to be thick skin. You have to be ready to put out fires and you have to be able to roll with the punches and, that, and that's it. And you know, like this trip is, this last couple of weeks has been super crazy for me, super busy trying to coordinate everything, um, especially while traveling, not being there in my own, like in my own state that I'm at. You know, you have to be able to rely on other people. You have to be able to talk and also just have a great team behind you. So again, I hope this is super helpful. I appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys haven't, again, go ahead and check me out on Instagram or TikTok at New to Medical Device Sales, where I post weekly content. I try to do daily, but it doesn't always happen. And then LinkedIn, Jacob McLaughlin. And again, if you guys are looking to just learn more how I broke in, got four job offers from top 30 medical device sale companies, go ahead and just check out my new to medical device sales ebook, um, new to medical device sales.com link is in the description. Uh, if you guys get it, please reach out to me if you have any questions. But again, that's just my journey of how I broke in how I was able to get it. And a common question I get asked is who I work for. Um, I'm trying to stay away from just like legal standpoints of saying who I work for because I don't want anything to come back but just go to my LinkedIn and you'll be able to see who I work for. Um, it's one of the top companies in the world. I got four other 
offers when I was doing this, or three other offers, four total. So again, uh, in that new to medical device sales ebook, I just go into depth of what I did, how I made myself stand apart, how I was able to beat out someone who had 10 years experience and I was able to, to land the job. And, and also just going in, how it's helped me be successful to what I'm doing right now. You know, I took one of the lowest performing territories in the nation and we are not there. I actually just checked and I'm in the top 10 now. So it's pretty cool to see, pretty fun to see the journey. Again, just like I tell you guys, I do this for you, but also for me, I can go look back and, and I'll be able to see this journey, how I started and where I'm at now. So appreciate you guys watching appreciate your support and i hope you all have a great rest of your week see you on the next one